here is a very easy way of falling asleep faster. Now, a lot of you, if hopefully all of you, have um, showers every day, or at least a bath every day. Now, have you ever tried having a cold shower? Most of you probably haven't, and the reason is it's not comfortable. Having a cold shower is really quite uncomfortable at first, and especially if you've never done it before, uh, it's going to be very difficult. You're going to your, your um, vascular system is going to contract and you're going to find it difficult to breathe at first. Um, and so you might be thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Well, there's actually a few good reasons. So the first one is, and when I say cold shower, I don't mean uh, I don't mean half and half. I don't mean cool shower. I mean, don't turn the hot tap on at all. Just leave it off. I mean, only use the cold water. Only turn the cold tap on full and then have a shower in that temperature water for... 10 minutes, maybe less, maybe more, a normal shower length, right? Uh, and so there's there's a few reasons you should do this. The first one is that you will find that, obviously at the start, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be hard to breathe. But then on the second or third time that you do it, you know, third, second or third day in a row that you have a cold shower, you'll find it easier to breathe. And not only when you're in the shower, but also when you're out of the shower, you'll find that your airways just open up in your whole breathing system becomes a lot more efficient it becomes easier to breathe easier to be easy, easier to breathe deeply i should say uh, and that will then give you more energy you'll find that because you can breathe better you'll be able to speak better you'll find that your whole energy systems are improved and you just have more mental and physical energy and strength throughout the day the second reason, and this is probably what you guys are most interested in, is you'll find that it's much easier to fall asleep once you've had a cold shower. Now, normally they wake you up, right? So you'll have a cold shower in the morning, you feel vitalised for the whole day, but they can also help you relax. So if you have a cold shower in the evening, I'd suggest maybe having one two to three hours before you would normally try and fall asleep, and that will then help you relax because it'll make breathing easier. Then I'll go into some meditation or some breathing exercises after your shower. Um, and you'll find that you'll not only be able to sleep better, but that will probably help you lucid dream. Okay, because with a lot of these things, you know, if you improve your sleep, if you improve how, how fast you fall asleep and how relaxed you are before falling asleep, you'll find that dreaming is easier, you know, because the two are so closely linked. If you, if you sleep better, you're most likely going to dream better. Um, and so that's why it's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to practice. Another thing, and this is like sort of the second way you could go with this, right, is um, there was this famous uh, Snapchatter, I can't remember his name, but he used to have a cold shower every single morning. The first thing he did when he woke up was jump out of bed, have a really freezing cold shower, and then go about his day. And he said in his interview uh, that I watched uh, about a year or so ago, that just by doing that, just by having something really difficult to do first thing in the morning, like a cold shower, because it is difficult, you know, it's a hard thing, it's a hard habit to build. Just by doing that, that difficult thing, first thing in the morning, uh, it meant that everything else was just that bit easier. It was just that much easier to do everything else in the day. I mean, think about it. If you do one thing, that you really find hard first thing in the morning, everything else is just going to sort of fall into place, isn't it? It's almost like when you, maybe as a kid you played with dominoes, right? And the first one, you push it over, but then it has such a huge impact by knocking over all the other dominoes. Um, it's really quite amazing. And I don't know if you've seen the videos uh, going around on YouTube where there'll be like one tiny domino at the start, You'll knock that over, and it'll knock over a slightly bigger domino and a slightly bigger one. And eventually, it's knocking over like a huge metal or wood domino. And it all started from this tiny domino. And the, the thing that I'm trying to say with that is that by having a cold shower first thing in the morning, you'll find that it makes everything else seem that much easier. Because it's difficult. That and the fact that it will also be healthy. It's also good for you. Um... You know, it improves your blood circulation, it improves your energy, your mood, everything that you can think of that would, you know, contribute to you having a better day can be achieved by just simply 
instead of having a hot shower, you just have a cold one. Okay? And it really doesn't take much effort um, to get started. Uh, in fact, what I'd recommend that you do to get started with this is to start off by having whatever temperature you normally have a shower, okay? Make it slightly colder, and then do that for a few days, and then make it slightly colder again, until eventually, and it might take a few weeks, it might take a month or two, you'll be having a cold shower. And that might be easier for you than jumping straight in and just having a cold shower straight away, having never done it before, because it's difficult. No one really wants to have a cold shower. It's not pleasant. It's not... I mean, it is relaxing after a while, but at first it's really not relaxing. It's, uh, it's, it's hard, right? But then a lot of things in life are difficult, but then they're often the things that are worth doing the most because they give you the most rewards, they're the better things to do for you, um, and it's just the best choice to do. It's just the best thing to do, really. So I would suggest if you've been having trouble falling asleep, if you've been having trouble with energy during the day, if you're depressed, and I know it's not a complete cure for depression, but it definitely helps, right? If you're finding that you, you're exercising and maybe you don't have enough energy, all of these things, cold showers will do more for you than you could imagine. Um, which is weird because it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's a shower, right? You're just having a shower like, like most of the world. But the temperature makes a huge difference. And also, when you think about it, really, in nature, before civilization evolved and before we had hot water, before we had electricity, before we had all of this, this stuff, people showered in cold water. Or at least people bathed in cold water. Look, in, in nature, you'd, you'd either shower, you, you either would have showered in a waterfall, right, which is fairly hard to find for most of the most people in the world. Unless, you happen to, unless you're lucky enough to be living near a waterfall, or you would find a natural source of water, like uh, a lake, right? Now, lakes are not heated naturally. They are in some parts of the world, Iceland, other parts of Scandinavia, geothermal spas, that sort of thing. But most of the time, they're freezing cold. Um, and it was actually really healthy, uh, a healthy way that people used to wash. But then, obviously... Civilization advanced, hot water, electricity, lights, everything like that. And we sort of evolved in that way. Not necessarily for the better. So I hope you haven't got bored yet. <laughs> I do tend to ramble on uh, sometimes in my videos. But hopefully you guys, you know, get some sort of value out of it. Hopefully some of you find it useful. Um, just a quick thing as well, if you're still with me, if, you're st if you haven't clicked away yet um if you could if you're already subscribed it would be a really huge help to me if you could click the notification bell just by my channel and click get notifications because youtube recently have been hiding a lot of videos from um from subscribers for whatever reason you know they they think they know how to better recommend a video by showing you suggested videos instead of your subscriptions which i think is a bit crazy because you guys subscribe to channels you like the least they can do is then show you their videos. Um, so yeah, if you do like my videos, please go ahead and make sure you're getting notifications. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.